for you. Excellent. Yeah, we're technically, at, we're technically still in war, but we're really not going to do too much. I mean, what, what do we want in, uh, in Algeria? Like, not, I don't think we really want anything. Like, maybe, maybe I'm mistaken or something very obvious that we would want, but I don't think that is true. Vladimir still technically exists. Everyone else. I mean, everyone else seems like they're doing okay. You're at war with Algeria as well. Okay, the four has done a white piece. That's completely okay. Yeah, you can reoccupy these territories. So yeah, I mean, again, what is this over? It's just an Algerian in, uh, war. Okay. We've also lost our claims against Abyssinia. But we saw the Mamluks have cores there, so it's not a big, big deal. We can just feed it to our vassal state, and it should be okay. Good boost stability. How far are we off the next level admin? We're still a few years. Honestly, yeah. Let's go one, two... We set up by two levels because our stability is not great. For religion, we'll go with you next. More mercenaries. Oh, I mean, we haven't, I don't think we've hired mercenaries yet. Oh, yeah, and what I wanted to do is go up to 50 here. There we go. We now have large capital. Means we're generating more of these points. We've almost gotten one. We need 800. They were desired from subject development, artillery, bonus forces, force. That'd be really good. For coring distance. Better artillery. Like, just having better artilleries, I think, would be incredible. Artillery is really good. Move you up north. Move you up north. We're going to have you go up by one. Have you go by up one here. I might even want actually two cavalries in each as well. We'll do something like this. Okay, might as well go up to Zagreb. Austria insulted me. Really? Why? I don't really understand. I mean, I keep forgetting we even have territory in Italy. I think right now we could probably mothball the force without too much of a hassle. Oh yeah, Mexico. How's Mexico doing? They're doing okay. Brizzy and Hudson Bay. Hudson, I mean, the Hudson Bay is over here, but don't worry about that too much. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, Galicia now is independent. Steel wants that land back, but we'll see how that goes for them. Who's trying to that war with now? Oh, wait, no, it's, it's still obviously the Algerian war. We're in it right now. Like, what's, what's wrong with me? Like, obviously, that's who we're at war with. It looks like Thessalonica's at war with the Byzantine Empire. It's a nationalist war, so I, th I think this might be the end of the Byzantine Empire. I think Thessalonica might full annex them. Who else are we at war with? Just Mecca? I mean, you're now allied to Abyssinia, who is... I mean, an absolute monster of a nation. Like, they scare me. They are terrifying. I mean, they're not as strong as, say, you know, Commonwealth France. Or I think even Finland. Actually, no, they're more powerful than Finland. But they just, like, like look how much land they have. It's just, it's just wild. Also, India now owns a big chunk of Mexico here. Yeah, so I think I think everybody else here is doing pretty okay. Um, don't need our mothballed forts. We can probably start annexing these guys. No, we can't do that until forty. We have six years until we can integrate you. I will improve relations with you for now. You don't even like us that much. Um, we can annex you. 
Once we had 190 opinions, so we might as well uh, improve relations with you as well. Better break off by networks in these two countries. Then after that, we're going to go to diplomacy. Put one on our own subjects. There we go. And people would want to ally with us. But also, like, not really anybody that I would want to be friends with. Are we still a great power? No, we did drop out of the great power list. How many points do... No, no, we're actually in six. We know we've, we've gone up in the world. Hell yeah. One of the great, great powers of the world. French uh, war here is ended. Delta took some territory. Good for you, Delta. Apparently these are actually already cores of yours. Italy took some land. I don't think France took anything. Even though it was their imperialism war. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why they didn't take any. But. I mean, I guess they have territory here too, right? They still have their European provinces. And they still actually have Algeria. Elizabeth against France, uh, Frisian and Acadia. Okay, yeah, so that, you're now just a new uh, colonial state. But you don't even connect to the ocean, right? You don't. You just own the middle of, the, of uh, that place, but you can't really do anything with it. Give me better artillery, please and thank you. And we still have claims on Hungary. We have a truce with... Or we don't have a truce with them anymore. All Georgian Italy. Persia has 173,000 men. Hungary's got 64,000. I mean, we could do it. We could go for the Holy Grail that is Constantinople. 40 development is so expensive. 50 Diplo? We'll go for the 50 Diplo. Get our last province here converted. Yeah, and basically just take over uh, this little chunk of land here. How are you not done your war yet? Is it because of Mecca? It probably is because of Mecca. But I mean, Hungary's looking like a juicy target, isn't it? Royal marriage to Italy sounds good. I'm thinking we just go for another Hungarian in war. Again, yeah, they're still allied with Persia, but that's... Still, I, I don't think a major concern of ours. Got decent cash. Do I still have any more loans to repay? No, we're making 44 ducats. Could get um, war reps off of Persia. Could even like build like another fifty divisions if I wanted to. And you know what? I probably do. Build like one more army. I can mess this up somehow. Go here, here. Yeah, it's just click it three times. It'll be it is a little bit messed up, but it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, and I think call you in, I call you in. Don't want land. France would say no. Distant war. Savoy would say I don't even know why we're still allied with Savoy. Resolve the alliance. I think we still we do have a royal marriage with them. But I, I just don't see them being like useful for me at all. Let's combine it to be like 250 stacks. Say no to you for now. Rank up our maintenance. Give me, let's say, two months of ticking. And let's take what Hungary just took off of, uh, off of here. Call you in, call you in. Numbers are looking good, if you ask me. Do we have any commanders? Not enough. Let's actually make sure we stay relatively close together. Because we, we underestimated the Hungarians last time, and it really screwed us over. We see 66,000 men. We have more than them. But we need to be careful.
can see your capital is there. That's a city that we want to take for our um our war goal. See the Italians are moving their way in now as well. I think there's still another group of units being trained, right? Yes, the artillery is still being trained in the in the south. Okay, we want to the capital. And again, Georgia should be 154,000 men. You're not worth anybody else. No. So you should be able to deal with Persia on your own decently enough, I would hope. 21%, 42. Again, we have our ability. I really want to get uh, Napoleonic Warfare. Plus three artillery bonus versus force is incredible. It'd make the war go by so much faster. How much is Constantinople worth? Actually, not, wait, not that much. Only worth 10%. I mean, there's a lot when it comes to aggressive expansion. But it's nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. You know, how do we take, like, these territories here? Do you have any other countries you can release from them? Wallachia. Transylvania, you could theoretically release as well. This, at least for now, seems good. I know this is not the area we're actually sieging down at the moment, but that's okay. Now move south. I don't know what this Italian army is doing. They're just kind of hanging out. So we've done an objective. What objective we do? We're staying the Turks. Oh, yeah. 200 military power. That's actually really good. I'm going to bring you down here. I will assign you under another commander. We're going to go for our tax modifier. We'll make taxes go up from 42 to... 44. Maybe give it, give it a month. Give it a month. 45. Okay, so I think we made like three more ducats per month. Maybe that wasn't the most worthwhile deal, but that's okay. Do we have any more fortifications? We have one fort there. Have you march your way here and then up to that fort? Yeah, Italy, you can deal with the rebels yourself. I don't want to deal with them. That's just wasted manpower for no good reason. What I probably want to do is we can build up some manufactories. But our generates us the most income, please and thank you. And we're just a few years away from the very final institution, industrialization. We don't have a furnace. But I think we could build one, right? No. In order to build the manufactory, what uh, tech do you need? We need more money than this. Because you are coal. Actually, you probably want iron, right? Do we have iron in the country at all? Uh, trade goods. Your iron. But that actually gives you a weapon manufacturing. What do you need for a furnace? Counting house. You have all the buildings unlocked. What gives you the furnace? No, you are the furnace. Okay. We need 544 dockets. Montana Dumbles now fall into our troops. So yeah, okay. We can just build a uh, furnace in the, coal, in the coal province, then we can get industrialization. It'd be cool if it spawned here. I'd be happy it spawned here as well. Okay, you're now fighting the Hungarian army. Which means that we probably need to be around here. The end of the revolution. So the fall of the revolution, nobody is there to take out the banner. So that the revolution is over. Yeah. I think it's going to give us for every single country. Okay, so the revolutions have completely failed. I mean, they formed in Ming. It, it's just a shame. They formed in the one country that literally could not embrace it. It probably broke things at least a little bit. It does mean that the revolutionary republics are not really going to be a thing here. We're going to wait until Victoria 2 for any major revolution to happen. 
We're not at war with Poland. Why am I in Poland? Come to this fortification up north. Thank you for losing us uh, stability. Very happy with that. Who's we at war with? Persia? I mean, I want to get them out of the war. That makes my life easier. Or I just get hungry to surrender on their own terms. How much cash do you guys have? 1400 And then we can do that with some war reparations and we'll be looking pretty good. Move you back around here. We have 172 points. It'll take a while for us to get our uh, artillery upgrades. And by a while, I mean it'll be longer than our segment here. As playing as Croatia. Seventy-one. There we go. The fort has fallen. Move our way over to you. Yes. Yeah, so occupy all this territory. All this territory should belong to me. Hundred on you. Go up towards the north. Twenty-one percent. How many artillery do you have? Fifteen. I guess I think it's sixteen for the last upgrade, right? Well, it's only ten actually. Oh, probably it's, it's due to the fort level. And their forts are not up to snuff. France for, uh, for any has taken a lot of territory. Uh, we'll recall a diplomat from you. By network in Poland. They don't like me very much. What about we fabricate, like, another rebel uprising? Byzantine Separatist 84... I mean, it's not going to be a lot. But, I mean, I'll pay 121 ducats. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not that much money. Okay, so we can move our units out of, uh... Out of that territory for now. I know nope, we didn't finish sieging this province. That'll be basically be the end of Hungary. We can take all their land. We're at 67 here. Is there anything else I'd really want? They don't want to make their borders look too terrible. Have you released Wallachia? Could do that. I think that, I think Wallachia is literally the only Romanian province in the world. It is. You're all Hungarian. Okay, Persia. You're close to saying yes. I think there's a few more provinces will be good. Again, just a white piece is more than enough. And then for you... 76. We can take all your land. We're already getting the war reps. I mean, I guess we could pillage your capital. More development on the on the capital. Give up your claims in our country. You won't even do that. How about you like stop being allied with Persia? We'll take that. Excellent. Lockia now exists. Welcome. Bring you down south. You're now known as uh, Karagrad. Make sure we core you for- You're actually, like, not as expensive as I thought you would be. I really thought that you would be, um, completely unviable. France is now at war with Hispania again, which is funny. Poor Hispania, man. They just, had, just been having a bad time. You're occupied by Italy. Are you allied with the four? Yes. But I think with that uh, war done, with the conquest of Constantinople, and the almost death of the Byzantine Empire, like they have like three provinces left, it'll probably be a good time for us to end this episode. Uh, not the end of this episode, to end the stream here. So who are we going to be playing next? The really good question. I mean, again, I think we're probably going to play as the Ming next time. I think it just seems like it's a, it's a decent country that we haven't played uh, as of yet. Yeah, I, I think that makes most amount of sense. So let's turn to next time. We'll be playing as the main. But for now, thanks everybody for uh, tuning into the stream. If you're not already following, I do recommend you to hit the follow button. 
Uh, subscribe if you want to help support Sam for only $4.99 per month. But for now, have a great day and goodbye.